हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्क्ड देन माय चैनल इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड फ्रॉम द आई टैब हियर यू कैन चेक आउट माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दीज आर द लेटेस्ट वीडियोज आई हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बट नाउ द कंटेंट इज अ लिटल न्यू एंड अपग्रेडेड सो यू कैन ऑल्सो वॉच इट्स प्ले फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल I have already explained about the particular integral of e to the power a x. Before that, I have also explained about c f. So please watch those videos so that you understand well. Now let's see particular integral of sine a x and cos a x. And how do we find the p i of sine function and cos function? It's very easy. If we are given differential equation of any symbolic form here, and since sine and cos are given, we take this symbolic form in the denominator. And what do we do? wherever it is given d square then we square the angle and then subtract it right we square it and then subtract it now i'll explain it to you through an example like if the question is given d square plus 1 into y is equal to it is sin 2x and you're asked to solve it if we find the value of m here we know m square plus 1 is equal to 0 it implies m is equal to plus minus iota its cf will be y equals c1 cos x plus c2 sin x this is cf but we need particular integral so y is equal to sin 2 x divided by d square plus 1 so wherever it is d square we will put square of 2 and then subtract it this will become sin 2 x upon minus after squaring the term which means minus 2 square that means minus 4 plus 1 so y is equal to sin 2 x upon minus 3 right and then our final answer will be cf plus pi hence in this way we solve this question if it will be given cos instead of sin even then it's the same process we will get cos here and here in place of sin and then in the final answer as well the rules are almost the same for sin and cosine here now the question is what if the denominator becomes zero so i'll take this same question here if we have zero in the denominator what do we do let's take an example if this same question is given here let me erase it and then i will write this same question again it is given as it is becoming zero in the denominator let's say it is given sin x here instead of sin 2x so let me erase this the equation has sin x and we know that its cf will remain the same at this point the cf will become y is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x but its pi will change and what we will get in pi y is equal to sin x by d square plus 1 wherever it is d square we will square 1 and subtract so square of minus 1 that will become minus 1 here Plus one, so this is becoming zero. Now students will say, "Sir, it is square of minus one, so it will be plus one." Okay, listen. Whole square of minus one is plus one. Clear. However, this is minus one only. You need to note it. There is a difference between two. Square of minus one meaning minus one plus one will be zero. And if it's zero, then we will multiply by x above. And below we differentiate this. Now differentiation. But we are finding the pi of sine here, students. It is one by d here. This one by d means integration. So what will we do? We will write x by two, and we'll integrate sine here. So it will be sine x dx. You might ask, why didn't we integrate x? We are calculating the pi of sine, not x sine x. Clear? If we integrate this, it will become negative cos x, and it is upon two, right? We will get pi. Then the final answer will be cf plus pi. In this way, we solve it. I'll explain you some more questions to clear your concepts. If it is given cos here, then what do we do? If you remember, students, I had just explained this question of cos here. If y is equal to cos 2x here, I had explained what will be its CF. It is C1. Cos x plus C2 sin x because it is CF. Now, as we will put m and zero in place of d, the value of m will become plus minus iota, and it will be its CF, right? Now let's find out its pi. So if we see the pi, we will get its value as cos 2x divided by, where it is d, we will square it and then subtract. So it will be minus four. So we will get cos two x upon negative four plus one. We will get cos two x upon negative three. So the final answer will be CF plus PI. In this way, we solve this here. Now next question: If this is given, sine two x and on this side d square minus four d plus four. So you need to pay attention. What will we do? And this will be. I will directly explain this because its CF will be m square minus four m plus four. Is equal to zero. We know that m minus two whole square is equal to zero. Then value of m will be two and two. Its CF will be y is equal to c one plus c two x multiplied by e to the power of two x. And now the pi will be d square 
minus 4 d plus 4. Now, what will we do wherever it is d square? We will subtract after squaring it, which will become minus 4. Actually, it will be minus 2 square, which means minus 4. So, minus 4 plus 4 gets cancelled out. It will be y is equal to minus 1 by 4. This will be sign. 2x by d and we know that 1 upon d means integration. And what is the integration of sin 2x? Write 1 upon 4 and the integration of sin 2x. You can write the integration like this. And what is its integration, students? We know that its integration is minus cos 2x divided by 2, right? Hence, the answer we will get here will be minus cos 2x upon 8. And then we will get the final answer which will be cf plus pi. This is how we very easily solve these types of questions. Let's look at the next question. Now, what should we do if our denominator becomes 0? I just explained you what will we do here. How do we find it cf? Look here, m square plus a square is equal to 0. The value of m will be plus minus a iota. Then its cf will be y is equal to c1 cos of a x plus c2. It will be sin ax, right? Now, let's talk about the pi of this. The whole term will go below. This will be sin ax upon d square plus a square. Put minus a square in place of d square. Minus and plus a square will cancel. What will we do in that case? We will multiply by x in numerator and differentiate in denominator. So, we will integrate 1 by d. We know that integration of 1 by d is integration of sin is minus cos. It will become cos a x divided by a, right? Hence, the answer we will get at this point will be minus x cos a x divided by 2 a. And then the final answer we will get will be cf plus pi. In this way, we can solve these types of questions very easily. And now, let's look at the next question given here d square plus 4y is equal to sin square x. Or if it is sin square x or cos square x, now what we will do? We will find its cf. So, we know that m is equal to plus minus 2 iota on solving this equation. So, the cf that we get is c1 cos 2x and plus c2 sin 2x. And then we will calculate its pi. We know that this is sin square x will be above here d square plus 4. What is the formula for sin square x? We know that its formula is 1 minus cos 2x divided by 2, right? I want to tell you that we have two formulas. The 2 sin square x, it is 1 minus cos 2x clear and then the 2 cos square x. That is 1 plus cos 2x. Let's say if we had cos square instead of sin square here. Then we would have put 1 plus cos 2x upon 2. Here it is sin square so it will be 1 minus cos 2x upon 2. This needs to be noted. Now what will we do? We will write 1 by 2. And this will be 1 upon this value will be d square plus 4. And here this term will be minus cos 2x divided by. This will be d square plus 4. We know that whenever we get 1. So, we take this as e to the power 0 x. This will be d square plus 4 in the denominator and after that. We will put minus 4 in place of d square. So, minus 4 plus 4 becomes 0. Now, we will multiply x in numerator. And denominator will be differentiated. y is equal to 1 by 2. Here we will replace d with 0. It will be e to the power of 0 x upon 4. And then the integration of cos. We will get this as x upon 2. And then what do we get as the integration of cos? The integration of cos is sin 2 x upon 2. Hence, this will become sin 2 x upon 2 here, right? Then instead of e to the power 0 x, put 1. We will get 1 by 2 and this will be 1 upon 4 minus x sin. This will become x upon 4. Sorry, this is 2 x upon 4. Then the final answer will be cf plus pi. So, in this way, we can easily solve these types of questions. And students now suppose that if we get the question written like d cube plus 3d square plus 3dn plus 1 multiplied by y. And here we get is equal to cos of x, right? If we get this type of question, then how do we solve such given equation? I want to tell you that we will take the cf. So, it will be m cube plus 3m square plus 3m and plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if we take the root, we know it is m plus 1 whole cube is equal to 0, right? m is equal to minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And now, it's cf that we will get here. It will be c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e to the power of minus x. Now, let's talk about its pi. What will it be here? y is equal to cos x upon. It is given d cube below. Whenever it is given, note that we will write it as d square into d. And this will be plus 3d square. And what will be next? This will be plus 3d and plus 1, right? Whenever we have d cube, we have to write it as d square into d. And d power 4 will be twice of d square. Whenever we apply the rule for sine and cos, remember that we put the value for d square 
now what we will do we will simplify this so we'll get cos x we'll put minus 1 for d square and minus 1 here so it will be minus d now if we put minus 1 here it will become minus 3 plus 3 d plus 1 we will then proceed to simplify this expression and it will become cos x upon we can see that 3 minus d will give 2d and then minus 3 plus 1 it will be minus 2 clear now what will we do multiply the numerator and denominator by 2d plus 2 we will multiply numerator and denominator by this right when you multiply this what will we get here we will get 2d plus 2 multiplied by cos x and then in the denominator it will be 4 d square minus 4 where it is d square replace it with minus 1 so this will be minus 4 and minus 4 and this will be 2 d in numerator and plus 2 multiplied by cos x it is minus 8 in the denominator and we will multiply the terms above it will become 2 d cos x plus this will be 2 cos x since the differentiation of cos x is minus sin x so we will get minus 2 sin x plus 2 cos x upon minus 8 so the final answer we get will be cf plus pi in this way we solve this question suppose it is d cube or sin x or the question may be given as e to the power 2 x in the exam then we have to separately find the pi and add the pi of both terms upon finding which will be answer this type of question comes in exam and now students you have to solve this question d square plus d plus 1 y and sin 2 x is given and you have four options here you need to find out which will be the correct option here and how much time did it take you to find out the answer please let me know in the comment box thank you so much for watching like share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can check out the two point of playlist of differential equations from here the old playlist is available from this link if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can subscribe to my channel from this link below and you can also follow me on instagram do like and share and subscribe to the channel and please share what will be the answer in comments thank you thank you